Connor McDavid mark game number 600 with a goal, an assist, and a shootout goal as Edmonton made it four in a row with a 3 2 win over LA. By goaltender Calvin Pickard. Dry settle. Coming over the line, gets it back from Fogel on a quick chance, and Gibson able to make the save. Fogel in front, Schneider score! Ryan McLeod, his fifth goal in five games, and it's 1-0 Edmonton. In New Jersey, they've just had that chemistry. They find each other, that's a good chance off the rush, and then the recovery afterwards. Great dig out by Fogel. Dreisaitl was also in there to disrupt. I think he might have bumped it back to Fogel. And then McLeod fans out and pre presents the target in the slot. Here's Jacob Silverberg and Sam Carrick working out of the corner. Baca nine and across. Gudis a snapshot. Sam Pickard rebound. Another stop. Still loose in the slot. Calvin Pickard. And he's got to fight off some traffic. I mean, Johnson's a huge guy in front of the net. Deflected on Rook. It's a good second chance and then good sticks take away. And how he seems to ratchet up every single year a little bit more. He's brought the best out in the league. The offense in the league has gone up, and that's a big part of it. Segrist in front. What a save. Pickard rebound score, Max Jones. Pickard made the initial stop, but loose change. Tucked home by Max Jones. His fourth of the year. Both of the goals for Anaheim. Aggressive forecheck by Jones to get in, and this puck bounces around a little bit. Segrist with a nice play right out to Strom. And he's denied in tight, but... If you watch Jones, he goes from behind the net, gets himself back in, digs the puck out. It goes kind of bounces into Pickard and finds its way to the right of him. Makes the first save in tight. You were telling me before the game, Dreisaitl's made life tough on John Gibson. He has great history against him. 15 <laughs> goals in the 19 previous. Here's a wrap around by Evander Kane. Wow. The Ducks caught napping on a loose puck behind the net. Swoops in. Called on a pretty good finish on Connor oh, McDavid. Hit the referee. And then just a lucky bounce, but take it. As that puck bounces right out to Kane, and he says, thank you very much. So Gibson's looking right. He's already on the left, and that puck's in the back of the net before he even understands what had happened. Well, and, and Gibson, it goes off the skate. Yes. Leon Dreisaitl with a minute to go in this first period and his team leading 2-1. to one. Back to McLeod who opened the game, scoring. 5-5 five and five for McLeod, turns and fires off the bench, he gets a rebound, loose. Couple whacks and the blue paint, McLeod again. Portion in the middle, the first five minutes Edmonton, ten minutes Anaheim, and then that three to five minutes at the end of the period, Edmonton started to stabilize again after the penalty kill. Blown it up and Vander Kane with a nice wraparound goal. Got a little bit of a bounce off of escape, but a good play by him to drive it to the net. McDavid tried to funnel it in front and then a hard shot by Atcolm. He's taken out by Bakanan and now Fogel on his backhand. Rushes off one check. He'll drop it for Nurse. One timer dry saddle from an impossible angle. And there it is. Edmonton extends to a 3-1 lead. Dreisaitl has goals in three straight games. Kane scored his 14th of the year back in the first period. Brown hits Kane again. Rift shot. That one deflected up on the plexi. Taken by Brown. Broken stick. Cam Sam Carrick now five on three and a half. Ducks get back to full strength as Nurse finds a wide open fogel. A tap in. That'll be an even strength goal for Warren Fogel. Judy's up the ice, and the last two that he's had here are really, really nice, too. Just good presence in front. You can see Fogel stays there, puts the paddle down. That's a perfect shot pass from Darnell Nurse. And you'll see the defender gets into the shooting lane, which opens up that passing lane. But I felt bad Junior was hobbling around after the game. Here's Connor Brown darting in left-hand side. Wrist is in front, Sam Gibson! Robbing Adam Ernie, tremendous work by Anaheim's goaltender. Gibson keeps it 4-1, not for lack of effort. Brown to Ernie, but no. Fowler, the outlet on target for Kalorn. No. Back to Fowler, down the middle, shot. Save me, pick her rebound, what a left pass. Calvin Pickard has played well tonight. Really well, but love hand was good before it. CC fires at a save made by Gibson. Checking the mask, he dropped the stick. He has no stick. And now here's the chance for McTavish to clear to Vetrano, which he does. Oh! 
Oh. Not sure whether that one stunned Gibson or just lost sight of where the puck was. Here's Warren Fogle dropping it off. Fowler had a broken stick, and Gibson able to weather a shot for Dreisaitl. What timer Fogle short side delivery? And that line connects again. McLeod sets up Fogle for his second of the night. The rush into the zone again. The one-timer by Dreisaitl. The glove hand gets a big chunk of it. And you can see Fowler doesn't have a stick, so he can't play it. And he just tries to kick it to Drysdale. But again, it's the, the speed of McLeod into the forward check. He finds it, finds Fogel a short side, and he elevates up over top of the glove. Great work by McLeod again to dig that puck loose. Brown out there on the PK with Ekholm, Bouchard. And this man, Matthias Janmark, who makes the steal in the high slot, leads a two-on-two. -two. Brown shorthanded back to Janmark. Denied by Gibson. Rebound taken out of the blue paint. Looks like Ekholm's heading over. Here's that two-on-one Brown and Yanmark. Good drive through the middle of the ice, and this is a perfect little pass again, and Yanmark gets some good, I guess, graphite <laughs> or fiberglass or whatever you want to call it on that shot. Elevated the shots. You saw the five even strength goals for Edmonton through two periods, which stands out to me as well. Five in San Jose yep, as well. Yep, and they'll start the power play. Now we're gonna have a fight, Strom and Matthias Ekholm, and Strom starts with a couple of right hands. Ekholm spun around, trying to get started. Strom lands a couple of rights. Ekholm fires back with a right hand and an overhand left. And ends up on top of Brian Strom. The Ducks among the league leaders and fighting majors. They're by far and away the most penalized team in the league. Eventually, he'll hand the reins over to the McTavishes of the world and the Zegras and Troy Terry is not playing tonight. Oh, tough redirection handled well by Pickford and then a great save on the rebound. Ducks in transition. McTavish drops it off. Petrano, his shot deflected wide by Brett Gulak. Petrano to the point. That shot whistled wide off the blade of Vakadinen. Now here's Kalor in the middle, and that's home tone by Vetrano for his 17. The press a little bit, so they're sending three up the ice that didn't that last sequence. Didn't amount to anything, but this puck just coming around the wall. Kalorn's there to make sure that it doesn't get out, and then he finds Vetrano, a beautiful pass. Right through the hash marks of Vetrano, we talked about that release. As you mentioned, 17 goals on the year. This time on Evander Kane. Zegras and Labushkin able to clear the rebound. No, Labushkin turned it over the blue line. Yanmark wide open, save made. John Gibson. Put it around the boards. McDavid there to cut it off. Nugent Hopkins will leave it for Evan Bouchard, and Anaheim wants a change. Here's McDavid trying to catch the Ducks in a change, and he did. Hyman shoots and scores. Edmonton six, Anaheim two, Hyman's 21st. And you'll see here, Nugent Hopkins, just a little drop pass to Bouchard. He looks up, McDavid in speed, and then bam, a little bit over pressure on the one side by Drysdale as he comes over and kind of crowds Fowler, which leaves that right lane open for Hyman to drive down the right-hand side, and he doesn't waste any time. Little fake, and then zip. The Oilers about to go 7-0-2 in their last nine trips to Orange County. Here's Dreisa hitting McLeod to the net for Fogel! And the hat trick denied by Gibson. Stick rink wide to Dreisaitl. He fires short side. That was deflected up on the glass. Dayarnay did well to hold the zone. Dreisaitl batted it down for Fogel. Two goals, two assists for Fogel tonight. Dreisaitl tried to one-touch it in tight. Here's Kulak and Chubb scores! Seven to two! But this is a tremendous pass by Darnell Nurse. He takes it to the middle, and for Leon Dreisaitl, he just gets lost into that corner. After all that flurry happens, nobody's really paying attention. Guess where he is? Tickling the Raptors in that perfect spot that he's so good. Back to the point and mishandled by Minchikov, then stolen away by Connor McDavid. Short-handed backhander, and that was slid wide. He's drawn a penalty, and we might have a penalty shot here in a 7-2 game. Penalty shot. Yeah. <laughs> And he does a nice little pickpocket here on Minchikov and then walks in the backhand side and just checked by Nurse, breaking free for a moment, Fowler, then taken away by Nurse. Evander Kane driving in in front. Poked on net by Cody Cece, and that was denied by John Gibson as five straight overall, five consecutive games on the road.
and are 13 and 3 in their last 16 games. The Oilers crawl closer.